Yeah, I think there's a lot of challenges out there <clears throat> in regards to uh, reducing the 30-day readmission rates for patients with various diseases, whether it be COPD, heart failure, or pneumonia. Uh, many of these challenges can be met, uh, however, and in fact, years ago, I would have said that it's very difficult to meet some of these challenges, but, but the biggest challenge overall, I believe, is actually setting up a coordinated team uh, care effort that takes the patient through their hospitalization, coordinates the care as that patient transitions into the home environment, and then maintains that coordination as they, as they go through the first 30 days, and hopefully that will extend out to 60, 90, or you know, a year's time where people don't need to be re-hospitalized. Uh, the, biggest, the biggest issue that we'll be facing now is we're going to actually have to do this because without that type of coordination and reducing that 30-day readmission rate, we may not be reimbursed for providing care if people are re-hospitalized. So there's going to be a great incentive for hospitals, providers, uh, and payors to actually set up this coordinated care team effort. Uh, a lot of those things we've been able to address, in fact, in one of the studies that we've done, or many of the studies that we've done in our program, we've been able to successfully reduce this 30-day readmission rate, putting a group of respiratory therapists and physical therapists in the home environment for the first month where they actually go visit the patient on the second day, the, after the first week and after the 30th day and have been able to effectively reduce readmissions. For example, in Western Pennsylvania, our COPD and heart failure 30-day readmission rates are somewhere between 22 and 25 uh, percent. We've been able to reduce that down to about 5 percent for both COPD and for heart failure. So I think you can put these programs together. There's many programs that are being put together out inside, or outside, this, uh, outside of the Western Pennsylvania area, and many of these have been successful as well. But it does take a, this team coordination, and that team members can be certainly uh, primary care providers, nurses, nurse practitioners, physicians assistants, respiratory therapists, physical therapists, um, and even some in the community. Some, some members of the community can help in, in keeping this readmission rate down. It really is actually paying attention to the patient once they're actually in the hospital and certainly paying attention to once they go into the home environment.